Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Graceful Plants, and I just got a ton of wishlist plants. <laughs> and I am so freaking excited. It's ridiculous. So, I started opening this box, and I was so excited to get it open that I didn't hit the record button. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So I've already opened the box and I've already gotten out my first plant in it and I'm pretty stinking excited. <laughs> so I will adjust the camera here. Oh yeah. So sorry. I explained it previously, you know, when I wasn't recording, but I'm on the hot mess express today, but I was also not expecting this box for another four days. So these plants are from Green Spaces ID, which is a place that Harley G and Becca De La Plants had ordered from. And their videos kind of piqued my interest a little bit. And I'd gotten a little money for Christmas and my husband told me that I needed to spend the money on myself because I never spend money on myself. So I bought myself some plants. And I believe there will be four, there'll be four different orders of wish list plants that I ordered for myself. And all in all, I really didn't spend that much money on everything because a lot of them are coming from overseas, which they're cheaper over there. I don't know if it's because they're native or what. I'm not going to make any assumptions. <sighs> I'm rambling again. I wasn't supposed to be getting this package for four more days, so it came four days early, which is great. Uh, I was extremely worried about the temperatures because this came from Indonesia. I'm in Wisconsin. It's seven degrees outside right now. Seven degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold. <laughs> very cold. So I was very worried about these plants. When I opened up the box, the plants were warm. I was really excited about that, that there was no, there's no feeling of cold to the plants whatsoever. So uh, with ordering plants from overseas, you do need to buy a phytosanitary certificate, which just means that the plants have been, you know, inspected. Uh, so when they come through customs, they in theory should not get confiscated and destroyed by customs because they've already been, uh, you know, inspected for pests, dirt, you know, anything that shouldn't be coming in to the U.S. from other countries. And it was inspected. It was all taped up. Uh, but all my plants made it. They didn't take any. <laughs> and uh, it was packed very nicely. All this batting. I kind of just threw back in there since, you know, I started unboxing without recording. So... I'm just gonna scoot this box back. You can see that the plants were wrapped in, you know, I don't, just paper. And then the roots are in tissues and then wrapped in plastic. So I haven't gotten to the roots to see what the roots look like, but I'm hoping they're okay. Cause like I said, they were warm and the cold was the biggest thing that I was worried about because cold can destroy plants very quickly. So, so this was a Stromanthi Trio Star Variegata. There is a few little brown tips on the ends, but that's not a big deal. So this was $30. So $30 for six leaves. And there's two more coming up. So I didn't think that that was a bad deal. I'm gonna need to get my scissors out. Oh. And the tissues are still moist, so that's good. When I say tissues, it's probably kind of looks like toilet paper, but whatever. It works. All right, we're just going to start ripping because I want to get to the rest of my plants. I'm so stinking excited. Oh, look at that. Dang, Daniel, look at, there's even ooh, two, two more shoots that were coming up from that plant once I got it in there, or got in here. 
Probably should have grabbed a trash can, huh? But not much planning is going into this video because I wasn't waiting to open this box. The roots look very good. There's two new leaves coming up out of him and the roots look really nice. Win! So the next one, I don't know if I've mentioned, I'm kind of behind in my videos uh, because of my surgery, but Lisa from Itty Bitty Ladybug, Lisa had sent me some of this plant and unfortunately the cold got to it. So I decided just to order one because this plant was only $15. It is a Syngonium Photophyllum Elbow. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So this leaf looks like it's probably gonna go. He looks a little, a little uh, rough, but the rest of these are gorgeous. So they are packaged really well, like I said. Uh, I know a lot of people say that, you know, they're worried about ordering from overseas because you know, it is a big question mark if the plants are going to arrive alive because it is a long ship time. Um, you know, if they're going to get <sighs> seized at customs, if they don't have the proper paperwork. Um, but I will say so far, I am really glad, really, really, really glad that I ordered from this company. And I can already tell you that I know what my next order it's going to be for because I had about hmm, I think I had 13 plants in there the roots are looking good look at so that's another win <laughs> and I will say that if you are in the United States and you are ordering from a different country and you know having plants shipped in you can order up to 12 plants before you need to have um, an importer permit so you can order you know, up to that amount before you need to apply for the permit. So just FYI, I believe I got seven plants in this shipment. So, all right. So this guy, so the roots look a little rough on him, but they will recuperate. So there is some dried dried roots on him, but there are also some beset ones in there. But this is a philodendron ring of fire. And look at those pink splotches. <laughs> okay, I am such a huge dork. Look at that variegation in the pink. Oh, okay, so this was $40 so I mean to me that's a lot of money but I think it's worth it that's gorgeous <laughs> okay <sighs> I'm sorry I'm so stinking excited I have been very impatiently waiting for this package to come like I have been uh, stalking uh, the DHL because it's shipped through DHL. I've been stalking their tracking to see when it, you know, when it'll ship and where it's at. And oh, I've been ridiculous. I am super excited. Have I said that I'm excited? I don't know if I've said that yet or not. So this plant was $20. So this was 20 bucks and the leaves on this thing are huge i just want to get this off and take a look at the roots before i show you so the roots aren't looking the greatest on this guy but i think they will bounce back just okay So this is uh, a Monstera Kirstanianum, which I believe it has been renamed. Um, 
I don't know what it is off the top of my head. If they reclassified it as a philodendron, maybe. Don't quote me. I don't know. I just know that the name, I believe, has, has changed. All right, let's do a Kaylee Ellen head test. Hi, Hank. Oh, this is beautiful. The color, I don't know how well it's going to come through on the camera, but the leaves are so, like, bubbled and blistered, and just that coloring is gorgeous. Hank, isn't this pretty? Hank, don't care. So, this was $20. And that is beautiful with another leaf coming out on the top. So next one. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, this is flipping beautiful. So this is a plant that my husband really liked because it's a little odd. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, I wish you guys could see the texture on this probably better because I don't know how well it's going to show it. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. So this has been a wishlist plant for a while. I'm shaking. <laughs> this has been a wishlist plant for a while. I just love the texture of the leaves, which I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, like I said, but oh, they are just gorgeous. And my husband, John, likes them because he said they kind of look like beetles. They look like bugs. So he, he likes these. Um, the Silver Dragon, this was $35, but there is... A new leaf coming out there plus two four six so there's six leaves already plus a new one on the way oh it's so pretty oh. <laughs> it's so stinking pretty okay so we are down jeez so that's a really really big packaging for that last one so this one oh this one looks a little rough yeah this one's got a little bit of condensation on it so this that's a little worrisome this is an anthurium crystallinum which head test and did I say that? This was $40 for four, four leaves that'll probably stay on this plant. I think that was bad. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think these prices are good, bad? I know in like my area, these are really good prices because you can't find any of these plants local to me at least. So oh, I didn't think the prices were too bad, but let me know down in the comments below. Do you think the prices were good, bad, high, low? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what other people have to say. And this last one. <laughs> Look at how big that package is. Oh my. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna start crying again. So this plant may not be a big deal. Like this isn't a super rare plant by any means, but it's flipping gorgeous. Oh, I just, oh, you can probably see it. <laughs> I'll just show it to you before I look at the roots. 
O M G. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Look at that. I hope this is coming across on the camera. Because this is so freaking gorgeous. So this is an Alocasia cupria. And there is another leaf on the back side. Let me get that in frame, I guess. Oh my god. Gosh. Okay, so this is another one that my husband really liked because it looks like it's something out, like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie almost. But it is got like a metallic purpley green sheen to it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm geeking out. Like I said, I know this probably isn't a huge rare plant to some people and they're probably like, why are you getting so excited about that? But seriously, this plant is freaking gorgeous. Oh, and the roots look so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, I'm gonna set this down. And there's another, there's two new leaves coming up out of this. Oh, okay. I probably have to back up to do the head test to this. That's not my head. That's my hat. Look at that. Okay. So, hands down, this is my favorite plant in the entire shipment. I really hope this comes across on the camera because this is just beautiful, people. Wow. And the back sides are that gorgeous purple. But that metallic and these bubbled up, blistered ruffled leaves, I don't know what you want to call it, are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to sit here and stare at this all day long. Wow. So, this was $25. $25 for two leaves that are bigger than my head. I don't know. I think that's a good deal. What do you guys think? This thing is just beautiful. Yeah, so people are probably at home being like, oh, you are such a loser, like you're geeking out about that. But like I said, these are, these are hard to find plants where I'm at. And if I hadn't gotten a little bit of money for Christmas, I probably wouldn't have ordered these plants. But I am so glad I did. Ridiculously excited. And I plan on ordering more. So <laughs> here's... A uh, few deets. So the phytosanitary certificate that I said, you know, you should, you should really get it. Some, uh, some companies require you to get it. Other ones kind of give you the option and say, hey, buyer beware if you don't get this and your plants get seized. We're not, we're not taking any, you know, liability for that. Uh, so the phytosanitary cert was $25. And then shipping from Indonesia to Wisconsin, where I am at, was $45, and it came in less than a week. It came four days early. So shipping was extremely fast. Everything, except, I mean, with the exception of that crystallinum with a couple, the leaves and the roots, everything is in pretty nice shape considering how far they came in seven degree temperatures. Um, wow. I will put the link to green spaces in the description of this, of this video. Um, I highly, highly suggest if, if there are some wishlist plants that you've been looking for, take a look at their website. I, I don't think the prices are that bad. Um, and yeah, I am extremely pleased. I was very, very nervous. And the owner of the company, I was uh, chatting back and forth with them. And I was extremely nervous because, you know, middle of winter in Wisconsin, I didn't want my plants to die. And they were so reassuring and saying, you know, if anything is damaged, just let us know. You know, we'll make it right. Don't, you know, don't be concerned. If you guys have any questions, send me a message. I, 
will definitely be reordering from them. I am, I think, I'm gonna count how many times I've said excited in this video and I'll put it down here because <laughs> it's gotta be at least 20. Oh, so what do you guys think? What'd you think of my overseas haul? Uh, nothing super rare, but wish list plants to me, so I'm happy. Uh, yeah, wow. But as always, you guys are awesome. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're subscribed, make sure you're hitting that notification button so that you're getting notifications on any up new uploads. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please make sure to share with some of your plant-loving friends. And make sure to comment below. What did you think of the haul? Are you planning on ordering from Green Spaces? Let me know. I'm curious. Is anyone else brave enough to order overseas? Let me know below. But... We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.